The linear regression process can be done using the online calculator Desmos. Let's see how. I want to start by clicking on the plus sign here and entering a table. I'm going to type the data values into the table. The ones I'm going to use are 3 and 7, 5 and 8, 8 and 14, and finally 10 and 18. I have a table of paired data in Desmos, but I can't see it on the graph. I can adjust the screen so that I can see that data, and I can see that it's fairly linear. To create a linear function that best fits those points, I can type y1, which creates y, and then with a subscript of 1, and then press the tilde key and type in the form of a linear equation, like mx1 plus b. Notice that y1 and x1 are referring to the variable names at the top of the table. Desmos provides some nice analytics about the regression process. We see the correlation coefficient. We can actually plot the residuals as well. And I just want to point out one more thing. The letters are flexible here. It's the form that's important. Instead of M, I could use A to represent the slope. And if I leave off the plus B, then my regression line will be anchored through the origin. And to close the video, let me point out that other forms are available. So we can do quadratic regression in a similar way just by typing in, instead of a linear form, a quadratic form. Y1 and then the tilde, AX1 squared, so I can use the caret key to create that exponent, plus bx1 plus c will create a quadratic function that best fits the data. And again, notice we see the r squared value. We can plot the residuals, and the coefficients of the quadratic form are given down below. So I'm going to save this Desmos file. And you should find a link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.